What's going on there? Leo here with another video to help those small business owners here in Solano County. And today I'm bringing you the questions, can I ask customers to leave me a review for my online business or not for my online my business, but can I ask customers to leave me an online reviews? So the short answer for me will be yes, definitely yes, 100% for sure. In fact, you should make it a habit to ask um, to ask your customers right for reviews and even train your staff to how to do it, right? Because um, if you have a staff, obviously, you want to be sure that you leverage your staff as much as possible and, of course, yourself um, uh, how to do it. So it's uh, online reviews, it's one of the best ways to get more, um, more of them. Well, actually, sorry, asking your customers uh, and you're training your staff to how to ask your customers is one of the best ways to get more of them, right? With the exception of Yelp, and the reason why I'm bringing up Yelp is because I think it's in the policies that um, basically uh, it tells right there, or even if you call them, it says right there, right? You should not be asked for uh, reviews. It should be organic, or you should not be rewarding people um, uh, in exchange of reviews. Um, I think a better way to uh, phrase that will be feedback, right? I, I don't think there's anything there related to feedback on this feedback. If you can say something like, hey, I just want to see if you can provide us um, your best honest feedback uh, on the specific sites, right? If, if, if Yelp is the only one that I have, you can say, hey, I will appreciate if you leave us your honest feedback. Um, you can find us on Yelp, for example, something like that, right? So uh, there's, there's uh, but definitely don't, don't try to, um, you know, play the rules of Yelp. So don't try to um, ask for, um, uh, reviews or try to uh, reward customers if they leave a review on Yelp and it should be um, um, and, and I'm gonna go over that in, in a little bit more in, in, in what all this stuff you can do so um, one thing I would recommend a review strategy to almost every single client right it will recommend every single um, uh, customers to uh, put in place a review strategy right uh, it is important to continually ask for feedback in more ways than just one so if 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 you know that something is working in regards to getting more reviews then obviously you may want to keep coming up with some other ways don't just use one uh, one way to ask for reviews uh, here are some pointers to help you craft review strategies uh, so for example Make a decision on where you want reviews. You want them on Google, you want them on Facebook, you want them on Yelp. More than likely, probably one all three places, right? But is, is there one uh, that favors more than the other one? Um, think about that, right? Uh, are more customers finding you on Google? So perhaps you want to push that a little more. Are more customers find you, finding you on Facebook? So definitely you may concentrate on that one, but obviously don't don't uh, disregard the other ones, right? Don't totally avoid the other ones. Um, or are more customers finding you on Yelp, right? So think about that. Uh, provide directions when offering customers, right? Provide directions when, ask, when offering customers to leave your reviews. I Let them know uh, what is it that they need to do, right? Provide them a link or where they need to go to leave your review um, and, and how to do it, right? How is that done? Um, when will the suggestions for a review happen? So think about that, right? Would it happen... Um, does it need to happen after the sale, before the sale? I mean, more business that I can think of uh, probably will be after the sale. But um, if there's a model there that I can think about right now, maybe there's something that can happen before, right, the sale. Um, so when will, this, when will the suggestions for review happen? Uh, how will you help your customers understand the benefits to leave a, re a review, right? Help make them understand, help, uh, help them to comprehend what are the benefits uh, for them to leave your reviews? Um, make sure you communicate that to them, right? And then another thing is, um, another point it will be, who will respond to the reviews, uh, right? Have a strategy in place for somebody being charged on your business to responding. If that's you, then you'll be the one, obviously, right? But if you have other people to help you, if you have a, a, a staff or, or an agency to help you, um, then put put a plan in place, place right. What it, uh, who will respond? What type of responses will be provided for center reviews? Or what type, what type of actions will be done right for center reviews? Um, no, of course, don't just um, 
forget about the reviews, either if they're good or bad, right? Um, have something in place. Customers want to engage with real people, right? And so I had, I had that before that people say, yeah, I love when businesses actually respond to, uh, you know, comments or reviews. Um, so, um, you know, think about your own business. What, um, maybe put that in place and see what, uh, what kind of reception your customers are having to, uh, the engagement, right. From, especially coming from real people. So now if you're asking yourself, um, how do I increase this question, Lee, or sorry, maybe if you are saying now, Lee, okay, that's all great, but maybe I'm, you're asking yourself, but how do I increase, right? How do I ask? Um, how do I increase the reviews, right? Uh, and one thing I will say is simply ask people, simply ask them nicely, right? Most, more custom, most customers that are happy with service or, pro, or product, they are more than willing to leave a review, specific, especially if you ask politely, right? And let them know how much it helps your business grow. Um, because if they love your business, obviously they want to keep seeing you be successful because, um, they're gonna love. They, they will. They they will love to continue, uh, have your service or products, whatever you offer, right? So, if you're still wondering how to ask, then uh, let me give you some ideas. One that I heard out there is perhaps print out a card, right? Print out a card that you can give out to, um, to customers after they provide the service. If you are a retail store or restaurant, um, uh, or consultant or, or, or something that uh, you have a brick and mortar. Um, you know, more than just distributing business cards for people to uh, know who you are and acquire new customers. How about, you, you know, there's some business cards that uh, can um, uh, provide instructions on where people can leave a review. So all their stuff that you can do is, is, is have email follow-ups, right? So after they become client, they, they uh, provide your service. They, <coughs> after they become client or sign up for something like a coupon or a special offer, right? Maybe a few days later, you can have another sequence saying, uh, I hope at this time you have a chance to try us out or would, uh, would you please leave us a review? Or if a customer purchased from you, maybe a few days later, you can say, would you please uh, leave us an honest feedback on how we did our services, right? Um, maybe you are a service-based company and you can have um, that type of situation. You can have one of your customer care people call them and leave a running review or tell them how to do and get, leave an honest review or feedback. Uh, obviously, that you as a business owner, you can say that that will help you improve because it's true. It helps us improve, right? Um, you can also include links to the review, review sites like I mentioned before, right? For example, Facebook or Google. Now, if you wonder how to do that real quick, uh, is my screen minimized? Yes. Uh, so if you go, let's say Facebook, um, let's say I go to um, a business page, El Caracola, like that restaurant. So let's say I'll go to that business page. Um, what you can do is you notice over here on your browser, there's a link. So that's the link you will uh, share with your clients if you want them to leave a review on Facebook. Now, if you have, if you are on Google, right, if your business is listed on Google, you can do something like, uh, let's use the same example of a kind of call back of it, right? So if you notice over here, when you do a search, uh, or if you go to Google Maps, uh, or if you go to Google and do a search about your business and your business is listed, um, that's basically how you get the link to your listing, right? You can go to Google Maps, um, you can click the share button over here. And you can copy this link and share it with people. Something that I will perhaps advise you to do is make sure to have this in hand, right? Maybe you want to prepare a spreadsheet or uh, obviously if you set up email sequences, that in, automated emails that could go, that obviously will be saved um, within the software that you use for email sequences or uh, the business card. Well, um, the business card could be a little more complicated to follow something like this, right? But a business card could be something to say, find, find us on Google, right? Simply type in El Caracol Vacaville uh, on Google Maps and that will um, maybe help you come up. So for example, if it was El Caracol, um, if your business is not coming up, then that's another issue that perhaps we can talk in another video. 
Um, but that's how you find your links to Facebook or Google. Uh, then obviously share uh, those links with instructions after you, your sales is completed. Um, tell them that the honest feedback obviously helps you because it's true. Like I said before, honest feedback help us to improve our business and services, right? At the same time, you can share with them that it helps you reach more customers. And if they are customers that uh, like your business, that would like to continue getting services and product from your businesses, they're more than happy to see you grow and obviously uh, uh, see you reach more customers because they, they understand that that's going to keep your business afloat so you can keep your doors open, right? Um, you could also put information on your website, uh, how customers can leave a review, however... Uh, direct personal request is probably way more effective uh, in most situations, right, than uh, just living on a website. Um, some things you should not do um, in regards to when it comes to review is perhaps never ask friends and family members to post fake reviews, right? If it's friends and family, they can support you in different ways, right? For example, talk about um, uh, how great you are as a business owner and they know you, right? Those are honest feedback. If they obviously, you can tell them to come and try your food or if because your friend and family, perhaps you can give them a special deal, as long as they can go and share information about all this information, right? About what their, what their, um, um, what their experience was, what their food was uh, experience, right? If they are a restaurant or, or the products you sell or the service you provide, right? What was the experience? Um, but never ask them to post fake reviews, right? Um, never pay for positive reviews either because as customers will tell when um, when those are not uh, uh, legit reviews, right? These are shortcuts short that will uh, damage your credibility because, again, people can tell when they're fake reviews. Uh, it's totally not worth it, right? Customers... Um, uh, well, the, the, they, they are not genuine, but at the same time, you may be um, going against some of the policies of this uh, review site, Google, Facebook, or, or Yelp, and they will catch up to that as well. People will be reporting, um, and obviously, they can could, they could harm, you, harm you in different ways, either from um, um, putting your business to the way bottom of the ranking, if, you know, for example, in a Google situation, Right, where to when people are ask, asking for searching for your business, um, you know, it just basically uh, may um, put you at the bottom of the uh, search results uh, for it, making the people harder to find you. Or perhaps they may totally shut you down, right? Because you're not completing the, with their policies. Um, just basically focus on providing great customer experience, and, and reviews will definitely come. Um, so I hope this information was helpful. Uh, if you are a small business owner that would like to share with us what um, what are some other ways you do to uh, request uh, feedback or, or or honest reviews, right? What are some of those things you can share with us with the um, that could help other people that is working for you? Uh, please comment below depending on when you're watching this. Um, and then if you, for example, are a small business owner and have some other questions, um, reference to some of the things that we cover here or some of the things you would like to see in the future, so let us know as well. Um, share it, like it, uh, subscribe if you would like to continue to see or get notifications on when new videos come up, um, if you like these type of topics. Uh, real quick, I want to give you a last offer over here. And if you are a small business owner in Solano County that um, are struggling with clients saying that they cannot find you online or that um, they, your information is wrong that is sold from you online for your business. Um, or if you have your customers going to your competitors because they, they never see you or your competitors are the ones that is coming up. Let's say a competitor has a similar similar business, namely yours, and you, and you do not have a, 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 your name, your business name registered at all. Then obviously, they're going to go to your competitor's business may be coming up instead of yours because you haven't registered yours. So if you get any issues like those, uh, come to my website, digitaltrack.co, uh, fill the information over here uh, and submit the, the report. What's going to happen is I'm going to get an email notification and then I'm going to contact you back with some more questions just to make sure I get all the information needed. Um, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to put a report together with some analysis 
and see what uh, what could be causing the issues and then at the same time provide you some um, uh, feedback, not feedback, but recommendations of what can be done to fix those issues. So I hope this information helps you. Um, there's other ways you can contact me if you have other questions. For example, this is my cell, so you can call me or text me. This is my email right here. And then at the bottom, there's all my social media. You can um, uh, connect with me. The way you, should, you can go and connect with me and then, you know, see what I'm all about, what am I doing now in the community. Um, you can see um, pictures of my family, etc. Know that I'm a real person and that I'm here in Solano County. All right. So talk to you soon. Bye.